Horticulture is the science of growing fruits, vegetables, flowers, ornamental and pot plants, shrubs and trees. It is a billion euro industry worldwide. Much of its success can be credited to high quality growing media. Just like water, air and fertilizer, the growing medium is important for the successful production of these plants. If the growing medium fails, the crop too will fail. For more than half a century, peat has been a key ingredient in the growing media. Before the widespread use of peat, horticultural crops were grown in mineral soil in the fields or in greenhouses. In the 1940s, professional growers started to experiment with ways of growing plants year-round and to develop techniques to move them around easily. This was the origin of container growing. One of the difficulties faced by growers was to find soil they could use in containers. They soon discovered that plants actually grew better in soil containing peat than in mineral soil. Container bedding plants, for example, were found to have a longer shelf life, which led to modern garden centre retailing. Today, peat makes up about 85% of all growing media used in horticulture. It is blended with lime and fertiliser, composted materials, coconut fibre, vermiculite, perlite, compost, rice hulls and many other products to produce commercially viable, highly predictable growing media. What makes peat so special? Peat has a wide range of advantages as a growing medium constituent. Perhaps the most important one is its cellular structure, which gives peat the unique ability to hold water and yet allow air to get to the roots of the plants. And it can be easily fertilized and limed to meet crop specific needs. Peat is normally free of harmful pests and weeds, extremely important when growing crops in a greenhouse. Peat is easy to handle and grade, and when it is blended with other soil improvers like compost, the end result is a better quality product. Peat based growing media have a wide variety of uses in horticulture. It can be found in pots, bedding plant trays and large containers for trees and shrubs. A modern greenhouse with computerized handling techniques places special demands on the growing media. For example, the tiny containers known as plugs can be used for raising seedlings as small as three milliliters per plug. The consistency and particle size of the growing medium must allow for the uniform filling of every single plug in these highly mechanized operations. On the other hand, when growing a tree in a 20 litre container, the growing medium must have a variety of particle sizes to allow for proper drainage and aeration of the plant, a characteristic not so important to the tiny seedling in a peat plug. Peat-based growing media meet these challenges. Another important advantage of peat as a growing medium is its abundance in many countries and availability in all parts of the world. The annual global production of horticultural peat is approximately 40 million cubic meters. About one third of this amount is produced in Canada and the United States, and the remaining two thirds in Europe, where Germany, Estonia and Ireland are the leading countries in horticultural peat production. To minimize the use of peat wherever possible, the growing media industry is searching for suitable substitutes. Research is being conducted in many countries to find ways to reduce the use of peat and increase the use of recycled products. Although some success has been found in reducing the amount of peat, in most cases it cannot be totally replaced. No alternative has been found that is consistent affordable and available in sufficient quantities and as risk-free as peat. Peat is used widely in horticulture. This is because horticulture is a large global industry and growers are dependent on this material. If we didn't have peat, 
we wouldn't have such an innovative horticultural industry as we know it today. The horticultural industry is dependent on good substrates and peat is the best available constituent for producing them.